What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to drone fish step by step using the DJI Mavic Pro, okay? Let's get going. But before we get started on that, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and that way you'll be notified of more videos just like this in the future, okay? Let's get going. Okay, all you really need is stuff that might be laying around the house, okay? You might be having a clothes hanger, a metal one, okay? If not, they're cheap. Dollar General, I think it was four or five dollars, something like that. So, what do you mean that? My, I can't remember, it's a Dollar General, so. Anyways, clothes hanger, metal wire, okay? Actually, it was it's aluminum wire. I got it from uh, Home Depot. It's like four bucks, I think. Uh, it's 18 gauge, hope you can see that. So, 18 gauge, I'll throw that down in the description as well. But I can't take full credit for this video because I got the idea from another YouTuber. I saw his video and I did it a lot different though. So, well, not a lot different, but two or three things different. So I'll throw that video up there for you guys to see if you do want to check his out. Again, I can't take full credit for it, but I'm doing it different. Let's go. All right, we're going to take our clothes hanger and we're going to just, basically all we need is this top part here. We're going to basically unravel it. Then we want to cut basically right about there. Then we want to kind of bend this down a little bit. It's just a little too far. There you go, kind of like that, okay? We're gonna bend this, okay, make a little loop on this. Not gonna fully close that, and I'll show you why. Okay, see how that is? Okay, then we're gonna take our wire, all right? We're gonna unravel about, I don't know, what would you say, about seven inches, just enough to go around the drone. Then, we're gonna get about midway, okay? And I'm gonna clamp this down, that way it can't, can't slip out, okay? Okay, see how it can't slip out? All right, all right, once we slide that in, basically put it right in there, okay, in that groove. Okay, it's fine if it sticks up a little bit right there, but we're gonna take the wire back around, okay? It's kinda hard to do this. I'm trying to show the camera and everything. We're gonna tie this. I'm gonna get up there and tie that. Then we're gonna get another wire and actually tie this to this. All right, I took a small little wire here, all right? We're gonna go around this back end. Basically just barely on there, okay? Now you see, I'll probably tighten this down a little more. All right, now that we have that tied down, it's not gonna go anywhere, okay? Now on this side, we may have to clip these, but it's actually not even that bad, but we'll leave that there, okay? As long as nothing's in, in the way of the propeller, okay? We should be good, all right? Now, on the other guy's video, basically his was the flip side. He was flying his backwards. I didn't really like that because you can't see where you're flying to and dropping, okay? The other bad thing on the way this is, okay, you can't land it, okay? You, I mean, you have to grab it with your hands and take off with your hands, and blah, blah, blah. But that's why I got landing gear. And all that basically is, is little feet, okay? That extended up, and we're gonna put that on. I'll put a link in the description down below for you guys to buy this if you want to. It was uh, $19, I believe it was. Kinda, kinda a little expensive, but it's uh, definitely a win. Especially if you're not even just with the, with the bait drop. If you're out in the grass or in rocks and stuff like that, you want to keep your drone off of uh, all that stuff, and that way you didn't hit the gimbal, gimbal and all the other stuff. So, but yeah, let's put those on. They're real simple to put on. Basically, they just slip on. They're a little tight, but they slip on and work great. Slip that one on over that. Okay. This one. on the feet like this, just like that. All right guys, I'll show you how this looks from down here. 
and yeah so does not get in the way barely touching so let me show you how you add the wire now all right for when you add your bait and everything okay this is what actually what I had okay I don't know if I can show it all okay I had two mullets on there and plus the weight okay and I have a little loop here I tie a double knot okay and a split shot weight okay and I'll show you the reason for that but let me show you how this knot is uh, is done okay so basically all this knot is is you got you know you make your loop okay you're gonna tie a, a knot right okay you got your one knot you can't leave it like that because it just slip right through okay so you go back on the other side do another knot pull it through okay then it can't it can't go anywhere okay it's gonna slip down to it hits the other knot and then it's not gonna slip through so that way you always have that loop you can just put it on there and run off with it so let me show you how to do that okay so basically you'll set your drone up just like so okay you'll take your little loop right put it on there at the back end okay Let's see if I can show that back end right the reason I had that split shot weight okay just a small little one, doesn't have to be very big, just to keep that line down, okay? And I put, I put everything out kind of at a V, holds the weight, all this line is down, it's kind of tight, it's not going to be hitting those blades or anything, okay? And I start it off and run out there, okay? Now, as you can see in the video, I raise up, of course I got the, the line open, Okay, and it's running all the way out there. I get farther out there and I basically I turn around and slowly let the weight drop. Okay, you can tighten your reel up, then once you turn around and it should come off. I didn't have to worry about it this, uh, the times I was going out there because it was high winds, the waves were catching all the, uh, the lines, so you gotta keep that in mind. Be careful when you do this, okay? Now, I would recommend actually doing test uh, at your house on land uh, several several times especially after even after you do this after you put this thing on here raise this thing up in the air come back down see you know what's it doing test it over and over because you may have to actually move this thing to the side slightly I've had to do that a few times move to the side a little bit because the sensors are kind of getting in the way so you, that's one of the reasons as you can see the wire why I use the wire because there's it's not in the way of the sensors okay like I said before, I was having to move to the side because it was actually not recognizing uh, when it would land. It would just come down and just drop pretty much. And, and it wouldn't come down and, and stop like it does usually at three foot or four foot and slowly come down. Okay, so you gotta test this before you, you, you start running it out there in the water because it may just go up, up, up and keep going. <laughs> so um, definitely test this out first before you do anything. All right, disclaimer, I'm not responsible for any lost drones, okay? okay? Unfortunately, guys, on that trip out there, I didn't get anything. The surf was just too rough, and it kept bringing my line back in. And I was also, I will say this, it was 20 mile per hour winds, okay? It was high, high winds, and the drone did great. I mean, it was handling it. It was struggling a little bit, but it was able to drop the bait. It's just, I, I didn't want to go out too, too far because I was just kind of worried. So, with all that high wind and everything. So... That was it. I didn't catch anything. But I was able to do this video for you guys. So please consider subscribing because all this hard work. <laughs> all right, guys, that is it for the video. If you found this useful, definitely hit that subscribe button and hit that like button if you liked the video. Throw me a comment. Ask me some questions. You may have some. And I'll definitely answer them as best as I can. Till next time, guys, stay hooked. At the, at the other end, what I do is use a slip knot. Slip knot. Now, if you like this video, definitely hit that like button. Like button. <laughs> Using the DJ, DJI Mavic Pro. Oh, can't. Why? What is wrong? All right. Before we get started, though, please help me grow. If you like videos like this. Uh, duh, duh, duh.